Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video, and this one is titled, Daughter's Drunk Confession Turned My World Upside Down, and Current Circumstances Make It Even Worse. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get right into it. My wife and I have been together for 25 years, but married for 19. We are high school sweethearts and have two amazing kids, a daughter and a son. I was honestly under the impression that we had a solid marriage, that our relationship wouldn't be like our friends and colleagues and we'd actually stand the test of time. Now I see how spectacularly naive and wrong I was. My wife has been a stay at home mom for most of our adult lives, something we both agreed. But after our kids went to college, she began feeling restless. Empty nest syndrome, I guess. She would tell me she was feeling unfulfilled and felt like she had lost sense of who she was. I tried recommending hobbies we could do together, places we could visit, or even adopting puppies if that would help, and at first she was all for it, but soon began saying she wanted to feel like she was contributing and not simply coasting through life. I understood and was willing to support her. She never liked sitting still, so I kind of expected it. She complained to a few friends and one of them actually managed to get her an interview at a real estate firm. She used to work in one before having the kids, and I was just as excited as she was when she accepted. In the beginning, things were going great. But after the first year, I noticed some changes. She started going to drink ups with co-workers, began texting a lot more than usual when at home and at odd hours at night. She even started wearing a particular type of perfume and would wear more suggestive clothing. Nothing too revealing or slutty, but clothing that complemented her body figure a lot more than usual. But what made me suspicious was when I accidentally saw a message from a male coworker on her phone, who wasn't snooping, which seemed to be a highly inappropriate and flirtatious. I asked about it and I could tell she was slightly shaken but assured me he was simply a friend and she would talk to him about his inappropriate messages. Me not wanting to be the paranoid, jealous and controlling husband chose to believe her and let it go. Oh, how I wish I didn't. Her behavior got more strange as time went on. She started mentioning how she wanted to be more spontaneous with life and even picked up smoking. I made jokes about how she seemed to be living the same college lifestyle as our kids and suggested she slow down. But she dropped an absolute boom when she mentioned in a drunken state after another night of going out that maybe I dim her lights and hold her back. I was completely blindsided by this and really believed I was messing up somehow so I tried to do everything to improve the marriage. Even booked counseling but it went nowhere. Then out of the blue that strange behavior stopped. My wife apologized for the way she acted. She said it was like she forgot who she was but realized what she had at home and knew she didn't want to lose it. She resigned from her job and we began MC. It was tough initially, but things improved immensely and for the two years of our marriage was better than ever. She was more attentive, she initiated intimacy more and would shower me with affection. The only problem is that her relationship with our daughter seemed to be in a nosedive. I would question my wife about it, but she would tell me it was a growing phase or a woman thing and once again I would take her word for it. Funny thing is, during this period my relationship with my daughter improved. She would call a lot more, meet me for coffee or lunch often during the week and even bought me gifts, t-shirts and stuff. I always told her it wasn't necessary, but she insisted and I could always tell she wanted to say something but would hold her tongue. Tragedy struck one evening as my wife was returning from doing groceries and she was hit by a drunk driver. 
she unfortunately lost the use of legs and has been on wheelchair bound ever since. Things got really bad and she would make suggestions of about me sleeping with other women to which I obviously refused. I just choked it up to her depression and reminded her that I was here to stay because I loved her more than our situation. This actually made her cry and ask me why I was so good to her, or what did she do to deserve me. Again, I choked it up to depression and just tried to help her as best I can. Sometime later, we went for our medical checkups and the doctor sat us down to inform us that they found a mass in my wife's throat. It was of an unusual size, and because it may be cancerous, they have to do a biopsy. My first reaction was shock, whereas my wife was just blank at first, then she started laughing. It started small, then became hysterical, as she began mumbling that this was her punishment. We managed to calm her down, but she requested that before the biopsy, we could do a family dinner. I of course agreed and we had our kids and immediate family over. I made a speech about how my wife was the light of my life and how we'd get through this but at the end of my speech I noticed my daughter was rather uncomfortable. I thought that maybe it was because of what was going on that made her feel that way. The next evening my daughter phoned me drunk, begging me not to hate her. At first I was confused, but reassured her that I would never hate her because she's my little girl and I will always love her. At those words, she goes on to tell me how she caught her mother cheating on me with a man she had never seen before. It was during her, my wife, time at the real estate firm. My daughter gone on a road trip with some friends and decided to pass by a dinner they don't normally frequent to get a bite. And that's where she saw her mother lip-locked with a man that looked nothing like me. Apparently, this was why their relationship deteriorated and ours improved. I confronted my wife, and to her credit, she didn't deny it. Through tears, she confirmed it was the co-worker from the messages and says it was the dumbest thing she has ever done. She said he was always coming on to her and eventually wore down her walls. She tells me getting caught by our daughter made her realize the gravity of what was she was doing. She wanted to take it to the grave because she never wanted to hurt me and was too much of a coward to confess so she begged our child not to tell me. I am absolutely shattered at the revelation and don't know what to do. I now question every aspect of our relationship and wonder where I went wrong. She tells me I was a good husband and that none of this is on me. The problem is, since that time I haven't been loving towards her. I still take care of her, but it's more like a nurse does with a patient rather than a husband to his wife. If I leave her, she will be completely stranded. She is dependent of me both financially and emotionally and it seems immensely unfair. Sorry if it seems all over the place, but I am a mess right now. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment below and let me know if there's any other subreddits you guys would like me to make videos on. And also like the video and please subscribe.